What's up? I am back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the flow pane in JavaFX. So, um, the flow pane is a simple layout pane that lays out its children and rows or columns. So, um, the flow pane is something like the H box and the B box in JavaFX. So, let's say, for example, uh, if you have a JavaFX application and the user can resize the window, which is something like this. If you have a JavaFX application, let's, so let's assume that this is your JavaFX application. And let's say I am the user and I can resize the window. If the window is getting, getting uh, smaller and smaller, and the flow pin will do the same as this. <clears throat> so uh, I hope you get the idea of and how to how the flow pin works in JavaFX. So, um, all right, so let's get started. So uh, here I am going to show you two steps on how to use the flow pane or how to create the flow pane in JavaFX application. So the first step I'm going to show you is to create the flow pane manually or code it manually in JavaFX. So here I am going to create the flow pane layout. So let's say root equals new flow pane. And I'm going to import the flow pane package. And let's create the scene. And let's call the root variable. And let's set the window size 400 by 400 and let's import the scene package all right now i am going to set the stage i mean set the scene to stage so stage that set scene set scene and call the scene all right and now I am going to set the title of the window stage that set title. Let's say understanding understanding flow pane. And let's show the stage. Stage that show. Alright. Now our flow pane is empty. I am going to add nodes inside the flow pane which is the children, which are the children of the flow pane. So the, I'm going to create a button here. Button V1, B1 is equals to equals new B, V button. <laughs> button. And let's say button one. And let's import the button you must select the JavaFX scene control button. Alright. And copy for five. Let's say five buttons inside the flow pane. Three, four, five. And also these. Alright. Now let's add the buttons inside the flow pane so i'm going to call the root that get children and add all b1 b2 b3 b4 and the b5 okay so let's try to run our application now our application is running so you can see that it's it is something like the horizontal box and if you are going to resize the window the flow pin uh, let its children flows horizontally or vertically something like this and if you are going to add um, gap gap in between of the nodes 
you can you can do this root root that set each gap let's say 20 or 15 and also the v gap root that set v gap 15 like this there is gap in, bet in between of the nodes. So um, if you are going to set the orientation of the pane, you can do the orientation, set orientation root that set orientation. Orientation to vertical. So because we are, go we are using the horizontal lately. All right, so that's how you use the flow pane in JavaFX, but this is kind of hard one. So we will use the easiest one, which is the which is using the scene builder to make our flow pane easier than the first step. Now I'm going to drag a flow pane here. And let's add buttons inside the flow pane like this. All right. So to to set the properties of the the flow pane, you can go here at the inspector and cl uh, collapse the properties here. And set the row alignment to center. You can explore here and column alignment to center, something like that, and alignment to center, like this, orientation to vertical, and the to set the H gap and the V gap here at the layout tab. 20 and 20 and now we're going to set the orientation again to change the orientation to um, horizontal like this what else what else we can do here we can also set the Um, where is it? The padding and effects. You can add effects in your um, flow pane. So that's it. And I hope you learned something new in this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I will see you in the next video.